Hello, after playing the demo, I decided to try this one out because it has some interesting mechanics. Challenge, I like a challenge. Now the graphics are... In ancient are... times, the kingdom of Drathea Peninsula was ruled in peace by two noble dragon houses. The regal dragons were famous for their immense wisdom, with which they ruled in wealth and justice. But it was the Var, known for their strength and valor, who defended the kingdom's borders. Centuries of endless battles, blood and destruction scarred the Var's souls. Slowly, their humility turned to ambition, bravery to cruelty, and their brotherly love for the regals soured into jealousy. No one knows who it was that delivered the ancient scroll imbued with a powerful dark magic, but when it was cast, the Var house was no more. A new, mightier one had arisen, Shai Var, cruel and covetous. Amplified with dark magic, the Shai Var started a rapid campaign of blood and fire. Soon, their army reached Vovensal, the great capital of the kingdom. The two dragon families fought for days and nights, with neither side the clear victor. Eventually, the Queen Dragoness of the Regal Dragon House managed to defeat her enemies. But Vovensal fell into ruins, and the kingdom was thrown into chaos. With every region brewing with rebellion, crazed beasts began to attack one another in the streets. Heavily injured and surrounded by new enemies, the Dragoness ordered her remaining troops to retreat. With the rising threat of the Shaivar's return, the Queen understood that while the kingdom required a new capital, her army would need a skilled leader. And so, she sent envoys to her old allies, the Elvish Empire. Along with much needed resources, the elves assigned one of their best officers for the task. A young, promising elf noblewoman with a number of significant victories under her belt. And so, your journey begins, Commander. Yeah, I was going to say I, I finished the demo and it was pretty nice overall, but... But, uh, there is a problem with the graphics. I don't think the graphics quality is too good anyway. I don't know, I like these indie games, but at the same time I think the developers of these games can make great games, but they just missed the mark by a few ideas. <laughs> and by that I mostly mean the difficulty, the original content and maybe some of the animations. Welcome to Thank you, Mr. Pagolin. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like Heroes 3. Resources. So we have granite, iron, pyrite, red crystal, blue crystal, yellow. Yellow crystal looks like eh, whatever. A coin. Purple crystal, sure. Oh yeah, I forgot about this mechanic. You can regenerate HP or get mana or more movement. Did you see that? It's Flying a dragon. Head. It looked like a Shaiba dragon, but that's impossible. It's been but days since we eradicated the last of their number on the other side of the continent. Well, I guess they wanted to come back very fast. Huh, we get a little... Uh... Wait, what? Oh, the little cart moves back and forth. That's a nice little detail. <coughs> basic health or... Eh, no, basic health. Now, this is almost like uh, Cardaclysm. If you haven't played Cardaclysm, well, it's a... Uh system where you merge creatures to get stronger ones. I mean, this is... The Centaur King has basically two stars. The Ancient Ant has, you know, more health, more shield, melee attack and so on, slow. Ah, don't worry, you'll see the difference when we play more of the game.
Yes, I'm to recruit to them. So at some point it's just better to have two units than one, of course, because you do more damage. Oh, so that's a veteran, not even a king. Wait, can I not change their position? Ah, eh, whatever. Anyway, RP. Yeah, whatever, it's pretty basic. So you basically have to wait until they come to you, right? Oh, they, I forgot, they have a ranged unit. This is our hero over here. Wait, what? Oh, I guess you can only move one uh, tile. So that's their health. As you can see, we are slowly destroying them. The graphics look a little nicer than in the demo. Oh, why zero? We missed or what happened? Anyway, that's the shield. Oh, they have a chance to negate attack. Oh, that's interesting. Probably we'll use necromancy and a lot of other stuff. Now, what do I want to do with him? Well, I guess we just defend. Let's look at their stats a little bit. So they have their shield, 17 out of 23, health is 31. I guess if they are hurt, I mean if they lose HP, they will take a little while to heal. Range is 14, 40%, so yeah, they have accuracy. Oh, I miss playing Cardaclysm. I think I'll start playing Cardaclysm again very soon. Yeah, look at the HP difference. That's a weird totem over there. No, not my centaurs. Okay, we won the first combat. Easy, right? By the way, this is still tutorial, hand-holding mode at its finest. So, <clears throat> oh, achievement unlocked. Now the hard part begins. So let me see. Battle speed will be high. High. Mm, I'm not sure where you change the difficulty. Eh, doesn't matter. I think also need some stone. Hello, Harpy. Friendly? Somebody is hungry. Well, someone had the snack. It was a Shiva of all the rotten luck. Let us hope it was just a marauder. Regardless, we should tell the queen at once. Oh, there's a Harpy on the house. So, 46 stone, 24 iron, oh, that's a very expensive thing. Ah, eh, sure, whatever.
I wish they had the space to end the turn, but it's okay. Hmm. I hmm. see the queen's a clear path to the battle pangolin. And well, if her majesty wishes it so. Frost, powerful squad. Yes, sir, I'm missing all of that, but it's uh, no, not so interesting, believe me. <clears throat> We're just going to go through a portal, kill something, come back, open that one. Oaken end. Ancient end. I think we can also do auto battle. But we'll play ourselves for a little while. Oh, we missed. I kind of like the look of the magical forest type. I guess it will be better to wait. Yeah, they, they need shortcuts. Combat? No, not surrender. Oh, we don't have automatic combat, really? I thought we had. Okay, let's finish the fight fast. <laughs> the advantages of using pure ranged combatants, right? Now, as you can see, there is a huge difference in damage if you do full damage. So I guess that's a nice way to balance range units. You have to get closer to them to hit them, right? But they also do so much damage in close range, it's, it's quite tricky. Enchanted Blade. If I remember correctly, stone is harder to get, or granite. <clears throat> Sadly, the interface is very, very boring and very basic. I wish they had the normal hero's interface where you just see the hero portray, equip items and so on. You, you know what I'm saying. I just wish it had a little more complexity, a little more finesse, a little more aesthetics to it. Commander, this looks like a mobile please, one. I'm gonna freeze my tail off. It's okay, I like I the winter. Close disciple, so I need red crystals for him. Okay, don't buy anything. We'll get the frost crystals. Now, there is a catch. You want to get a very, very strong creature. So that means if we keep recruiting centaurs and ants, We'll probably end up with level 2 or level 3 stars units, right? Or you can just flood a lot of level 1 units, which will also be okay, but again, it's going to be tricky. <laughs> I was pressing right click and I think you can cancel the attack if you do it like that. They don't do a lot of damage, but like I said, their damage up close is super strong, or stronger. What is that? Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit boring because you have to do range combat and uh, ends super... Super slowly walk towards the enemy. Of course, you can also do something else. Move our army closer to the enemy. Yeah, 
80 damage. Okay, he missed that attack. Oh, actually, we dodged it, to be more precise. Yeah, no, I don't think I want to take more damage. <laughs> I got too greedy over there. <clears throat> so what's the point of having more units? Well, if you have more units that are weaker, you can also act... You can have access to more spells, you can, you know... Have more utility with lower levels. I'm choosing granite. In the demo I chose other stuff and I didn't have enough granite. So does this really increase their... Oh yeah, they have so much health right now. So that's the skill. So this game is basically a combination of Disciples with Heroes 3. You kind of see the Disciples... Um, how should I put it? The Disciples influence because you are basically going to go against one another with the enemies facing each other and you also have a lower number of creatures. You're not fighting 500 versus 500, just fighting a creature type with another creature type. Now the trick is that these guys will have to be replaced because we'll not find more of them to upgrade our units. Oh, pennant. Well, I guess we can recruit. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'll not find enough red crystals in time. Okay, let's see. So that's the quest. We'll get free passage. What? Maybe I should read the quests a little better. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should read the quest and take the <laughs> take the gem that clearly shows we have to, you know, advance. Oh yeah, I forgot about about the supply mechanics. So we can hungry, starving. If you run out of food, you'll have a very very bad time. So don't run out of food. Again, this is hand holding, so you'll not face the problem right now. But soon you will face it. Aha! Welcome back. Nothing we couldn't handle, mage. Straight to the point. As you wish. Also, we'll have a base to manage, so I'm trying to rush to the base management portion. I've also managed to gather some resources to aid in the and commander. Good luck. Thank you. Now, I could buy two oak and ants and combine them, but I don't have enough iron yet. There's no point for us to stick any longer. <laughs> to stick around any longer. And now the dragon will tell us a few facts about the current state of affairs. We cannot defeat the dragon now, no matter how much we try Umbra Dragon. I wish you hadn't. <laughs> I guess that's better than fighting with the dragon knowing that we we'll lose the battle. Yeah, I think I fought for about 5 minutes in the demo and I couldn't defeat him. Don't worry, it's part of the story. Basically, he kills your units in 2 hits and he has enough HP to basically get shot 10 to 50 to 20 times and not get killed. May completing completing an optional quest may help you procure rare treasures. So oh, don't you don't say. Yeah, I think I'll have to play more card decks. That's a great game. People didn't really appreciate when it was released, and I think they updated it a little bit more. I don't know. There are many games I want to play, but I don't have enough time. Considering you have to eat, sleep, clean your house 
go to the gym, make plans, relax a little bit, watch movie, movies, play games for fun. That's one of the reasons I'm still doing videos for games today, is I'm also playing games for fun. Hey. Okay. We are back. Achievement unlocked, the dawn. Commander, can you... I'm fine, I'm fine. At least your body. Oh, dead? What? Your soul lingers behind. Awake, press. All we know is that the Shaiva with whom you faced off recently don't... Her Majesty knows a spell that may return you to... I can't do it without the support. Go into town and order one to be constructed. My queen? Ah, yes. After you build... Your Majesty, perhaps. One problem at a time. Return to us with. <laughs> Supply shortage, okay. That's the Dragon Queen, by the way. I think she would crush the roof, but what do I know? <clears throat> Magic amplifier, cost one. I don't know what those are. Two revivals, one revival spell. Sure. I don't like this mechanic. I pre I, the hero's free interface and mechanics are so good. By the way, you lost all of your resources, so don't worry. Proof center. So I guess you can also upgrade them. I guess you have to unlock both of them. The amplifier as to your mysterious condition. Uh, if you ever have the misfortune to visit, you'll see why. Lava flows through the cobbled streets. It is also the site of the great library. It seems that from now on, as Magic mentioned, we are facing a supply shortage. So this will be your first your grace excellent <laughs> excellent go go on little friend oh well, not again I think this is where we select our class And gain additional stuff, Berserker's range, so... What is this supposed to be? I don't know. Ah, oh, I can get Iron Bonus, what's the difference? More movement points? A blur? Well, I guess I'll select this one because it has more uh, moving points. I don't know, it's a class system. It's it's weird. I don't understand it fully. Two more attack points. Oh, I like this wall map. I like it a lot. I guess you go from the cap to... Okay, now we're talking. So this is the fun part of the game. As you can see, I try to skip more or less the entire demo in the tutorial area. <laughs> Food. Six. Aha! The queen seems to have supplied us with plenty of rations for the mission. Not really, it's, it's only for six turns. That an army marches faster when it's hungry. Yeah, they will eat us probably. <clears throat> That's a demon, right? What are they doing here? Be careful, this pack looks strong. We need to gather more troops before we attack them. Well, how do you know they are stronger than us? Let me save the game. Actually... Hey, it's the wizard again. again, Commander. I know that great hunger has struck the capital. It's not that... Still traveling with your talking pet, Commander? Along the western path, you'll find a centaur tribe. I see where this is going. The centaurs are... You've heard of a win-win situation. 
I have heard. So I guess you can see that you'll be out match because they are four enemy I don't know. I love the heroes system, I love the The King's Bounty systems, I love everything about those games. So uh, I guess this one is pretty good as well. I want to play more of it. Also, I think we should get some resources, not only movement speed. A mountain thing, well... <laughs> that doesn't sound like a friendly place. Oh, we can see the stats for the towers. Oh, it can cast haste. Yeah, I don't really like the harpies. Okay, let's do combat and then I'll end the video because I think people have seen enough to make up their mind about the game. But I just love all of the King's Bounty, Heroes, Free, Disciples, Influences in this game. <clears throat> and also Cardacles Influence. Yeah, we'll basically win because we have the ends with us. The mud gremlins are not so strong as you can see, but they can be very annoying. <clears throat> I wish they had auto auto combat. Sometimes it feels like this is very repetitive. Zero what? Zero, oh, come on. We hit them more with our counter than our attacks. Maybe I should heal them. Strengthen your defenses. Yeah, we might lose them, but it doesn't matter. We will survive? Yes, we will survive. How do they heal over time? Is it the same as in other games or it will be a much bigger heal? Oh, that, that's actually a very good artifact, I like it. So, oh, they heal so slowly. Well, I don't want the horseshoe again. Now, I want a few quality of life options, like... Actually, this is one of the things I was going to propose, but yeah, apparently it is. You, to, you will see how much it costs to recruit new troops. So, you don't have a time limit per se, but as you can see, if you run out of food, that's going to be it for you anyway. 8 days, HP loss per day. Oh, I wish you had a healing spell. Artifact shards. Oh, those red crystals. Where do I find the red crystals? Eh, yeah, let's get new skills. Oh, basic speed. What is overdrive? Is it the same as... Oh, I want that resource so bad.
You know what? I think I'll play more of this. The whole kingdom was once connected by portals like that. Sadly, the arcane knowledge needed to construct them was lost. Unless that old Coot the Wizard was hiding something. No, I don't think I want to fight the Hydras. Huh. Probably the mountain things are the easiest enemy we have. You know what, let's save the game, let's try to fight these guys and if we lose we'll reload the game. I, I think I like the game a lot, I think I like it a lot, it's growing on me. Especially because it's harder than I expected. So what are my spells? Overdrive. Uh, I think we have to use it later. How do you cancel the spell? Oh, okay. Uh, no, let's do it like this this time. I think I, I lost too much health, I should have played that differently. Okay, that's great. No, miss, okay. I'm panicking, why did I hit those guys? No. So they did 11. I don't have any mana left, so what happens if you lose a creature? Well, I suppose I can cheat a little bit by going outside of the range, so it's only 2 damage. Looks like cheating works a little bit more or less, so I only lost HP. Yeah, 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 I like it. It's just a blender of all of these game genres that I liked and actually miss playing a game like this. I think we need more experience than anything else. So everything <clears throat> costs red crystals and I need at least 6 and I'm not getting even 6. Well I guess I have to live with my mistakes, right? Oh, I missed the chest. Why did I not pick it up? Not going to face those guys. Well, this will be problematic. It's just open and but they have so much HP. What is this challenge and what? Learn okay, so don't learn the speed skill. Okay, I like it. I like it. I think this game has a lot of potential judging from what I saw so far. Where can I change the difficulty? I don't see where I can change it. 
Maybe we have to go abandon the quest and go to the capital and then we can change it, but yeah, I'll definitely play more of this. See you next time. Bye.